You want to, uh, you want to talk before, like, anyone else gets here, just so you can say things without... Talk before anybody else gets here? Yeah, like, you know, before... Well, I have till, like, Thursday before they show up, so I have a lot of time. Oh. <laughs> to be fair, to have such a fucking big moment to just not be here. What? There's a perfectly ripe dead body to be dancing on. Yeah. And no one's here. Oh, no, I'm dead and buried. If I were Trista, I would be tap dancing I mean, they're, they're, they're on still, your dead body. such a fresh grave to dance on yet. I would have sat next to you and been like, hey, remember that stream from yesterday? That was sick. Yeah, that yeah. was a good time. That would also involve, like, initiative and creativity, not just screaming at people's faces. What was it like Watch having, them. like, like the vo that volume in your ear? Oh, it was demonic. <laughs> I think I might need an exorcism after that, but people are, are chirping me like, oh, Smith, you're such a bitch, why don't you do something? What, what do you want me to do? Just stand up and start beating the shit out of her? <laughs> no, just sit there and fucking take it. Yeah, so going forward, how do you process this? Huh. That was a good one, Marie. I like that. How do you mourn? Acceptable ways. Start drinking? So we might have actually sold everything for the Super Bowl. The Eagles. Like our entire soul and will. Yeah. Like everything might be just gone. It's tough, man. I wanted him to win. I really did. Sad. I had. I'll tell you off camera what I had. Monetary loss. Responsibly. Responsibly lost everything. Yeah. Re re it's tough. Responsibly. <laughs> It's a shame, Rudy. I knew it was a wrap when Ben Simmons had that one where he was literally under the bucket. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's... And didn't that is it. going to be a screenshot of his entire existence in Philadelphia. Not the three all-stars, not rookie of the year, not the defensive player of the year runner-up or anything like that. Ben Simmons under the basket. Dick in hand. <laughs> This way. Is that Jakey? Is that Jakey Rats? Who's Jakey Rats? Jakey Bass. Why do you say that? Is he writing about about the uh, the Periscope thing? Oh, <laughs> he did. <laughs> you chasing him down? It's Jakey Rats. He's the one that tweeted out that Periscope was gone. Oh man. Dude, he lost you. He, sli he slipped you. Where's Jakey Rats? He slipped you. Jakey Rats. Jake Bass. Oh, oh what did you do? He just went out. Oh no, he's hot in the tail. He's on his tail. There he is. Hey, Jakey Rats. <laughs> what up? I, I thought we had a level of respect and honor. No, no. <laughs> I'm just I'm just a truth teller. I'm a truth keeper. You're a truth teller? I'm a truth keeper. Are you? Yeah. So so when an email is sent out to like the producers only. That was the content. Yeah, you sent it to the content. Because I get content emails to make sure Riggs and Frankie and Trent know what's going on. I have it twice because then Jen Gaz ordered it to Jen and then Jen ordered it to us. So you purposely went back. Yeah. That was what to throw me under the bus. No, to make sure people knew that Periscope wasn't thing. I mean, Jakey Rats. I mean, to be fair, he did. He was the one. I just saw we. Were, I just saw we were on better terms. We are on good terms. We've had good times together. Film up, across yeah. the classic Philly. Remember that? That was a good time. Jakey Rats. Can't trust anybody around here. Apparently. No, factually. <laughs> Jakey Rats. You need a you need like a like a meditation session. You need a relax. That ain't happening. Do you think Trish is gonna come in today? 
Uh, I think we all know the answer to that question. While filming Rediscovering America Chapter 3, we ended up in the Southern California desert. Which just happens to be very close to Mexico, and my friend Nikki just happens to have never left the country before. Not once. And who better to expand his horizons than me? So we're going to Tijuana, just for a quick lunch and we'll be back. I'm gonna get robbed. We're really doing it, boys. Good. How do you feel, Nick? Feels good. Before crossing the border, I told everyone not to do anything too touristy to draw attention to us. My treat. And our cameraman Corey immediately ran across the street and paid some guy to let us take a picture with his zebra donkey. It's a, it's a beautiful donkey. This is a donkey painted to look like a zebra. I, I, I walked up, I saw a donkey. Dude, I didn't like, know I was going to take like, a photo. Why, why, you didn't have to. Nick, it's me. Yeah, uh, yeah, right now I do. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah, sure. If Corey was buying, I thought I might as well hop on for another photo. It's not every day you get to meet a zonky. Nick, how you feeling? Are you, we, Donnie walks in and says, the one thing I want to do is not look like tourists. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first fucking thing we did. On the most popular, like, busiest corner. Oh, hey. Gracias, brother. For our first meal out of the country, we opted for a Mexican delicacy. Nick went to Mexico and got a Caesar salad. Oh, wow. He's making the Caesar dressing on the spot. You can get a Caesar salad anywhere, though. So Nick then headed across the street for a treat that's unavailable in the U.S. Is this the lime for Carl's Jr.? It's back. Yes. It's charbroiled burgers. They have the Kong vs. Godzilla burger still. You guys realize there's like a Mexican place across the street with margaritas and tacos. They still have the Kong vs. Godzilla burgers. I'm going to get that. The line at Carl's Jr. was too long, though. So we finally settled for tacos and margaritas. It was then time to pick up some souvenirs for ourselves and our loved ones. Tu tienes a uh, Patriots. Pardon me? Patriots? Patriots. Patriots. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, yeah. see, see. Uh, Quanto cuesta? Houston. This is $28, Marcel. Uh, Diaz. Diaz dollars. No. no. Oh, come on. Too Diaz. many wars. Diaz y Cinco. All right. What are you getting, Donnie? Oh, I'm getting that one too. Hell yeah. I'm getting my That's me, yeah. Oh, wait, how, did <laughs> you know? how did you know that? So I need three. I'm going to get a KC one. Which one more? All right. This three, one. Three for 40, okay? No, my friend. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, 45. This is a good price. No, no, wait. We were only going to buy one. Now we're buying three. Yeah, 45 for you. All right. Come on, we all win. Can I put this on? Sure. You can yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to put mine on too. Yeah, Go Lions. Nah, I give you a full Fighting point. kneecaps. <laughs> How do I put the shades on? You can't put, you can't <laughs> put shades on. <laughs> when I this. this is the best purchase I've ever made. I kind of look like the Gimp from Pulp Fiction though. I feel like the Gimp. I can't even move my jaw. Do you have oh, a wait, is the Tijuana uh, football team the, the Trujillos, the soccer team? Yeah. Dude, I don't know Tijuana, Tijuana soccer. So if I ever fight in Rough and Rowdy, I normally hide my eyes, but if in, in Rough and Rowdy, I'll just hide my face. Give me your entrance uh, move. <laughs> Belly dancing. <laughs> Can I wear this on the street? <laughs> I don't think Nick. I'm begging you not to. What'd you get, Nick? Pittsburgh Steelers poncho. Patriot yeah, poncho, 15. No, I can. I'll leave then. <laughs> No, I'm Fifteen dollars. This always works in China. I, yeah, I leave that, that and then they go come. come back, but this guy's just not asking me to come back. Fucking Mexico, man, dude. They've been studying American tourists for forty to fifty years, and what they've come up with is put NFL logos on Mexican shit, and we will buy it up. Pancho, cuánto cuesta? I ask him thirty-two dollars all the time. I really want to make a sale. So, what I can do for you is this. Mm. Give me 23, I'll give it to you. Listen, to your friends back in the States, they're gonna be envious about you. They are, you if know, If you yeah. can sell them for 40, 50 dollars. Now it, that's the move. And come back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell this to Feidelberg for you, you 50 could. bucks. You, you, could, you, could, you <laughs> yeah. could say 300 for him. Yes. Like, okay. Holy shit. That's what I'm getting. 10 yeah, bucks. 
The thing is, you don't know how to do that. Yes, I don't know how to do it. He's rotating his fingers. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, you can't do it as good as he does. That's right. That's right. Only move with the fingers. Holy shit! Yeah, that's cool. He's a puppeteer! <laughs> oh, look at these beer holders. Oh my god, you didn't tell me you had these. Everybody oh, calm down. We're not gonna have enough cash for a taxi back yeah, to the border. I know. Do you have a Detroit of these? Hey. Jesus Christ. That's the best purchase of my life. Right, simmer down. Corey went absolute ham and started buying every Mexican object he could find with a Lions logo on it. I'm never leaving. Like that dude was like we literally about to, to paint a line. It's like, here's, here's this turd. Oh, yeah. It's not even being sold. I want everything they're selling me. Now, all we needed was a gift for KB. He wasn't able to join us because he forgot to apply for a passport. But I knew just the thing that would cure the FOMO he was most likely experiencing back in San Diego. Donnie is freely swiping his credit card at a side, an, an open air pharmacy for Mexican Viagra. Figral! It's the same active ingredient as Viagra, and KB is going to be grateful. The thing is, KB's dick is always so soft, it's plush. It, it's, it's plush, and the thing is, like, if he just could rock a hard dick sometimes, he'd be the fucking man. I, like, I, I, did, I love seeing my homies with, with boners. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, KB deserves to give some girl an orgasm. I think so. I you know, he, he's, can we go over the border with that? Yes, dude, okay? It's not fucking contraband, it's fucking Figral. <laughs> That's the new tagline. It's not Figral. It's, it's not it's contraband. It's not contraband, it's Figral. Yeah. Running low on money. What did you buy? Nothing, I don't have any more money. Right, can you put the Viagra in my backpack? And stolen possession of our passports. That's the only thing I need. I can lose my phone, I can lose my wallet. If I got a passport, I'm Gucci, because I can walk to the border from here. We agreed it was time to head back to America. San Diego? Yeah. Order. Dude, I want to wear this for all the games. Be on the lookout for Rediscovering America SoCal, dropping July 6th at 7 p.m. And you know what? We're going to give all you guys an exclusive look at the teaser trailer. This episode of Stool Scenes is brought to you by High Noon Hard Seltzer. It's just 100 calories, gluten free, and no added sugar. It's real vodka, real juice for real fans just like us. Hashtag Nooners. There are so many flavors to choose from this summer when it comes to High Noon Hard Seltzer. Here's watermelon, here's peach, there's pineapple, black cherry, there is grapefruit, and there's a new tropical ape pack. So get your hands on some High Noon Hard Seltzer right now. <laughs> The clip is Trista, and we'll put the clip in obviously. There's like two, two. There's but the two. scream is bad, and then she sits down, and you're like, okay, she's done. And then the shriek, the shriek ends in the space, and I. The clapping, the laughing. And I don't know how many views that has, but it marked me down for 100,000 because I've yeah. watched it so many times. I, I'm not like uh, proud to admit this. I would have hit you. Oh, I think I would. I don't think I would punch you. I think I think I would give you. That's a salary for life, I would baby. I'm in. I'm in. I would. I would have given you a face mush. Like well, get the fuck out of my That's people push. are people are giving me heat last night. Like, Smitty, you're such a bitch. Won't you do something? <laughs> what, what, what are you supposed to do? Wait, you want me to just get up and get the living shit out of here? What? Like, what? Like, that's even why, even like getting up and doing jumping jacks. That's funny, Tom. Sixers or three games. No, you gotta sit there and fucking take it. There's no. There's nothing. That's like the rules of the electric chair, kind of. Anyway, but. But also, what I mean, things go better, the and then the scream. It's gonna be memorable. I was thinking to myself in the shower 20 years from now. It's gonna be Smitty, memorable because that's the only thing we're gonna talk about. Will Smitty be thinking about this, ending the process, this scream? 
Dude, I, I gotta say something. I, I just love this company so much. Like, <laughs> you know, fucking was... Nate and, and Tank going at each other. Actually, just Nate going at Tank for a couple days. You had this. I had. Uh, and you know who's just sitting there? Portnoy's just at home. Yeah, Mr. Burns well, that, is it just sitting being in like, this is yeah. exactly what I, I always While I all this. Cookies. To match the tan, the golden cookie brown tan, I gotta find out the best cookies in the Hampton. <laughs> Let me get that one again, Frank. I hear everyone was starving at Borelli's last night. Why? Because they ate nothing. Boom! <laughs> that was a good one, Frank, I'm not gonna lie. Come on, Kyle. Shut up. Alright, 81. No, it's not bad. <laughs> I'll leave that as the score to beat today. Yeah. You just want to flex in front of the entrance? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> was it, who came up with the fade men's picks? Was that you? Men's did. Because now we're in a position where, where it's like a Spider-Man meme. It's like, who's who? No, Jeff said it best. Everyone's just not going to bet on college baseball anymore because of this. It's like a House of Mirrors thing. No, I agree, but I, I, don't, I don't know why he's, he's buying into the fate. What he needs to do is just continue to pick games and give out his picks and no fade talk. But whatever. That's just mints for you. I tried to understand that bet while I was sitting on the subway, and it gave me a headache. I get what he's doing. He's doing a Costanza. He's doing, like, I'm going to do opposite of everything I do, right? No, that would be fading myself. Reverse fade is just doing what you want to do. I mean, he's entered like a different, like he's in a different realm of. It's a different plane of existence as far as Mush goes right now. I think he should probably take that video of him standing here and the home run goes right, right by him like that. The only run of the game. The only run of the fucking game. We got an old fashioned pitcher's duel on our hands. Jack Leiter through four innings, allowed no hits. He's been phenomenal and dominant, but so has Heifel for NC State. Feels like the first team to score is going to have a great chance to win with how strong these pitchers look. We're halfway home. Unbelievable game and atmosphere. A little slice of heaven in Omaha on an evening night. You can't beat it. Home run! We got our first inning. We have, we have, as you say this, this is live. This is live. Ben Mintz. Talking about the pitcher's duel with Jack Leiter. He just gave up his first hit. You cursed him. I cursed him completely. I just said he's allowed no hits. And the second I said that, Terrell Taylor hits home run. Not my week, pouring down on me, but still a lot of baseball. Else. What's the play with with Mincy? Do you no idea. do you fade? I don't. He's got me all twisted up. I don't know what he he's made something that's so simple, so complicated. And there's like 16 announcements and videos that don't have picks. The guy is like he's an, he's an enigma. What's the what's the old saying? He's a uh, riddle wrapped in an enigma. I I can't figure him out. He texted me this morning and was like, this is gonna be great, gonna ride this wave. I'm like, dude, you're losing like every pick. But he's he's undeterred, he's just gonna keep you know going forward, grow the game. Unbelievable, he's an unbelievable guy. I mean, the home run video was truly something I didn't, I was wondering. I can't get out of my head, all time. Things are going great right now for Vanderbilt. Leiter is untouchable, he's gonna be unstoppable. His streak is gonna, well! Was this your chair? This is my desk chair, but I feel like maybe I'll just sit right here. It gives them a little bit more space. Congratulations on the 300th episode. Thank you very much. How you feeling with uh, all these balloons? It's a lot of balloons. <laughs> 300 balloons. Oh, and that makes sense. Yeah, yep. of course. I moved to just sit here 
so that Donnie could get a new chair. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. Yeah, he, he seems like you know? a little like. He's like, kind of like you pay attention. Yeah, he's yeah. Like What's going on right here? You got all these balloons above your head. Yes. Uh, last week was my birthday. No balloons. This week, I've got. I think I think this is a hundred balloons on this chair. Um, it was chicks in the office, the three hundredth episode. I don't know how that involves me, but I'm happy for them. Yeah, it's like if they took over your desk. I feel like. Yeah. No. I mean, I've got static electricity running through my veins right now. I'm just. That means I can't touch anything metal. Yeah. I think that's it. Is it like, do you feel the positivity though? Like positive vibes running through your, your veins? Um, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, you do get a lot of privacy. That's true. Like Nick can't see anything that you're doing yeah. at all. I could barely even see Nick. Hey Nick. And there he goes. Nick, how are we doing? Good, what's up? There's all these fucking balloons around you, man. I didn't even notice. Okay, what's going on here with all the balloons? You gonna be like that guy that try to fly with the balloons? He like put a whole bunch of balloons on his chair and he like uh, tried to fly with them. Did he die or did he? Did that guy survive? Hey, what happened to that guy? I think if we combined all the balloons onto one chair and put little sass in that chair, he might get a little bit of lift off. Wait, don't don't pop them before Rita gets here. Two hundred and ninety-eight. Please see them before they all get destroyed. Yeah, right. I mean, I saw it all on, on the internet, so you're not going to really get a crazy reaction out of me. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Nobody can really get to me over here. Um, it feels like a nice little cave. We can block off Nick. What do you guys think is going to happen for like the 400th episode? Oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't really know if we could do this whole balloon thing again. <laughs> or we could just do it until we fill up the entire section with balloons. All right, where are we at, fellas? We just rolled up to Stu's house, about to have a time, ready to roll. I don't know, I don't know if I'm ready for the energy. Oh, here's Arya. This is Arya. This is Arya, named after Arya Stark. All right, so look. I'm, we're set here. I can't believe you're here. This is awesome. <laughs> it's great to see you. How are you doing? How are we doing? Right, so I got like six cases. All right. So just I'm in case you wanted to break. How can you not? Excited, Best energy ever. What temperature is the pool? Uh, 88. 88. That's just a fact. So I have no idea what my role is. <laughs> we asked him how long. I, I just got an invite. Like, what is your role in any place? It's I don't know. Yeah, you know what your role it's is. Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. <laughs> Balls Why'd with the you snorkel? Bring the mask? I bought it this morning. Love it. It's $35. It's a high price. Yeah. Honestly, I used to have to clean ball pits. I worked at a uh, at a daycare one time in a gym. And we used to have to take the balls out, put them in trash bags, then take them into the shower area and just hose them down. Just hose down the bags. And like, it was the worst part of the job. Ball washing? Yeah, ball washing. Stop. Stop. You guys look like siblings. He's got better nipples than me. That's always a fun. This is my party trick. <laughs> tit whistle. Stop, stop. No, what? What? <laughs> What's a tit whistle? You just grab you grab someone's nipple and they whistle. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That is a blast from the past. Fire. It's like one of the only things from the pile that I will not sell. Did you say the boys are here? Barstool's yeah, here, Barstool's yeah, here, Barstool's here. Yeah. 
So just yeah. barstools here, barstools here, barstools. Oh, the boys are here? Yeah. The boys are here, the boys are here, the boys are here. Yeah. And then we'll hop in and we'll okay. do a little stew chant or something. Maybe let's pick them up. <laughs> let's pick up stew. Yeah. That'd be funny. Yeah, sure. This crew is sick. Oh, Hall of Fame crew. <laughs> Hall of Fame crew. Yeah. Three, two, one. The boys are here! The boys are here! The boys! thing I've ever seen. <laughs> nice freeze! Nice freeze! Oh, that's, a strike. that's a strike! Oh, just trying to work the inside, you know. That's so cute. That is that is adorbs. I'm like a proud dad. <laughs> like you know when you see like a, a three year old like getting their shoes tied by yeah. their older sister or something like that. We have a suite. They wear the same shirt. Too. I know they I they didn't plan it. I don't understand how he's never ran into these problems for the bike. It's just adorable. There's no way you have they grow up so fast. <laughs> <laughs> 